10 billion dollars. That's the annual operating revenues for vehicle repair shops in Canada. 10 billion dollars with a B. Maybe if people learned how to reverse a little bit better, that number wouldn't be quite so high on this episode of Canada's Worst Driver. It's uh, all reversing all the time. The final five candidates for the title, Canada's Worst Driver, have a wide range of varying issues. I cannot see. New mother Ashley has severe road rage. I don't move for dumb How about that? How do you like that answer? She can wait. Businesswoman Emily needs glasses. I cannot say anything. Amy cries whenever she makes a supply run to Regina. Where do you want to go? Teenage Tegan has no experience. What is that? The mirror. You should stop and get out. Okay. And happy-go-lucky Lindsay thinks hitting things is socially acceptable. I've probably hit about over like 40 objects. It's all good. Whatever differences these drivers may have, they do all have one thing in common. None of them can reverse. At the end of this all-reversing episode, the nominee who performs best will be allowed to leave the rehab center as our newest graduate. Hopefully the judges will see a huge improvement with me and feel as though I'm ready to graduate. I hope. I really hope. Because I want to go party. Last year, one of our drivers was reversing when he spun his car all the way around. Understanding why that happened will prevent it from happening. So... The next challenge for this season's drivers is to learn how to do a similar spin-out, except theirs will be in a controlled manner. Our high-performance driving instructor, Philippe Letourneau, will show me how it's done right now. Philippe has taught the reverse flick maneuver to clients like the Quebec Provincial Police Force. It looks more complicated than it actually is, so you'll see it's quite, quite easy. Obviously, we're going to start in reverse. How fast? Plus or minus about... 30 to 40 K. We need to create what we call a pendulum effect to swing the car full 180. Steering does that. Quarter turn to the right, yeah. so we swing the car one way. Right. Then right away we'll swing the car the other way. About three quarter turn. Why am I bothering going to the right? I don't know. It's understand. basically to create a pendulum effect. The pendulum effect uses momentum to conquer gravity. Here's how it works. Philippe reverses at 35 K an hour then turns slightly one-way freeze. That small turn causes the car's center of gravity to direct its momentum this way. When Philippe steers the other way, the center of gravity keeps pushing out as the vehicle turns in. The left front wheel bears the extra weight, while the rising right wheel loses its grip on the pavement. The compromised traction allows the entire front end to freely swing like a pendulum. This maneuver is the most complicated skill we've ever taught. As always, our top two driving tips should be followed. Hold the wheel in the 9 and 3 position and look where you want to go. Where am I looking? In the mirror, you have a reference point. Philippe's reference point was this pylon. It's my turn. How many people have ever gotten this on the first try? Not too many. Okay, so I shouldn't be embarrassed if this screws no, up? No, not at all. Here I go. I'm backing up, I'm backing up, I'm backing up. And I'm quickly turning instead of feeling the pendulum swing. Because you were not going fast enough, basically. You were not even 30. Not even 30. I've never driven 30 in reverse. Go, 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 go. And swing. 
And this way. Okay, yeah. go. There we go. I could be a Quebec cop. I actually get it. This is not the challenge. This is just the lesson. You ready to do this? There's a lot going on in this lesson. Oh, oh my God! Holy <laughs> okay. And to succeed, Canada's worst drivers will have to wrap their heads around all of it. Oh my God! Look at you doing your stuff! First and foremost, the reverse flick teaches the importance of vision. I want you to keep looking where you want to go. You have a tendency to look down. This maneuver also teaches steering. Stop. What did I do now? You didn't turn enough? It teaches what a car is capable of. Go to gas. And as an added bonus, the rapid getaway teaches how an automatic gear shifter works. You could go straight from reverse to drive okay. without having to press the button on the side of the lever here. To shift from reverse to drive, just flip it. Okay. You don't have to press the shifter's safety button. The shifter will slide button free from reverse through neutral and into drive where it locks in place. Oh. Right, left. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Don't what? look, don't look. <laughs> Don't forget to put it back and drive without looking. The mechanism is designed for blind shifting, so people can quickly escape from any trouble they may get into while reversing. Right, left. Drive straight. Good. Huh? <sighs> Three of the nominees need ten attempts or less to accomplish the reverse flick. Amy needs twelve attempts. But Emily... Well, Emily consistently drives in fast U-turns with no idea where she's headed. Yeah. After a lot of encouragement... We'll get it, we'll get it. And over 40 attempts... We're almost there. Almost there. Emily gets one almost right. Drive, 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 drive. 90%. We're gonna... 90%? I think it's 100% now. When she really is 100%, she doesn't feel like her life is enriched. Oh my god, does it kill me? Can, can I go? To pass this challenge, the bad drivers have to pull off the tight maneuver inside a very tight space. So once again, I'm going to look in a straight line behind me. In this case, I'm going to keep my eyes on the finish mark. Then, as soon as I get into the large part of the course, I'm going to lift my foot off the gas. Quick jag to the left, three-quarter turn to the right. Wait for the nose to come around, straighten out my steering, drop it and drive, and nose right up to the finish line. Sounds easy in theory. Let's see if I actually learned what Philippe taught me. All the way back, and... Drop it and drive, and pull forward to the finish line. It's just that easy. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. Now, let's see if Canada's worst drivers can keep their wits about them and also pull off this challenge. First up is Tegan, who can thank his buddy Matt for nominating him as Canada's worst driver. What are you doing? Are you doing it now? Yeah. Tegan's first attempt at the reverse flick is pitifully slow. Attempt number two. This time, Tegan gets up to speed, then oversteers. Close. But no cigar. Attempt number three is the same as number two. Overzealous steering is a constant problem for Tegan. That's one of his biggest issues, steering input. Instructor Philippe is watching his students perform alongside the rest of our driving experts. He just steers way too much and he keeps going too far. That's head instructor Dan Baggin. We also have psychologist Dr. Luisa Gambora. He just gets overwhelmed with fear and everything goes up and smoke. And the big man on campus is Sergeant Cam Woolley of the Ontario Provincial Police. Tegan doesn't seem to understand the laws of physics here at all. Attempt number four. Under pressure, Tegan's habit is to let go of the wheel and steer hand over hand. 
He's able to spin out, but at the crucial moment, the boy just can't get a grip. Oh, at it. Attempt number five. Time after disastrous time. I did it wrong. Attempt number six. Tegan looks perfect for a moment. <laughs> Attempt number seven. But Tegan can never drive away when he straightens out. Attempt number eight. Tegan consistently fails because he consistently loses contact with the wheel. Yeah, so close. Ah, you had it, man. That was. That was as close as Tegan's going to get. Attempt number ten. Every time Tegan tries to pass a challenge, I never hold my breath. <sighs> Tegan <laughs> needs to grow up. It's all about experience, really, I think, now. It's just, you know, getting a feel for the vehicle. After the break, Amy needs some repair work done. Okay, we should be ready for another tour. Canada's worst drivers have learned how to control a car right, right. while doing a high-speed spin-out in reverse. Go. <laughs> now, they're trying to execute the move. What am I doing? What am I doing? In an enclosed space. Kelowna's own Lindsay will be driving TJ, her fiancé. Okay, I'm just going to visualize for a minute. Flick it, drive. Okay, we should be good. Let me yeah, brace myself here. Like that. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Okay. 20, 30, and 40. And flick it into drive. I think I did it, but I'm not sure. Lindsay's reversing skills have done a complete 180. How was that? Not bad, hey? Not bad. Freak out queen Ashley will drive Brian, her husband. This is attempt number one. Ashley should get this if fighting with her husband Brian doesn't get her first. Step on, step on, step on. Now, turn. What was I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what that is. She goes again, working herself up into a frenzy. Okay, this is attempt number two. Just hammer on it. Hammer on it. Now, get. Brake and drive. I didn't even look down. I did it! I didn't hit a box! Ashley could be our next graduate. I go blank. I don't know what it is. But you can't go blank because when you're in a freaking accident, you get one shot for something. Frightened Amy is up next with Bob, her truck driving husband. Okay, attempt number one. Amy's not confident enough to reach speed. Oh, you're oh. Not sh you weren't even close okay. to 40. I think this challenge is way outside Amy's comfort zone. Okay, attempt number two. Amy's not even confident enough to steer at all. Attempt number three. Amy knows exactly what she's doing wrong. Oh, I didn't get enough swing. I didn't get enough swing, and I stepped on the brake. After two more failures, though, Amy's mind goes blank. I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong. Her confidence is just disappearing. Her anxiety is just going up, and her performance gets even worse. And that has made the car worse. Okay. Thankfully, Bob is on the case. Wow. 100 mile an hour tape. Okay, we should be ready for another tour. Amy's failures have snuffed out her hopes. Oh my god, okay. 
This is just stupid now. I think this demonstrates how important it is for us to overlearn certain skills, especially those involved in driving. Just overlearn, overlearn, overlearn correctly, and in an emergency, it just comes in automatically. You gotta ace this. Well, well what? Or, what do you think I'm trying to do? Hey, I don't know. really, dumbass? Amy just needs to take a breather and think about what she's going to do before she actually does it. Amy won't get her license back driving like this. Okay. <laughs> Who cares? You should. It's your license. Amy has one more chance. Okay. Oh my god, okay. I can't do it, obviously. What Amy can't do, <laughs> duct tape can do. I f***ed it. Bob's on a body. <laughs> Should be good for another hundred thousand miles. Holy hell, we lost the license plate. I tried. Just wasn't working out so well. Horrible. Emily will drive her husband Scott, but I'll be helping. Put it in reverse. Although I should be helping from the side. First attempt. Go. Okay, you in reverse? Now let's talk about it one more time. When Emily gets in gear, she tries again. But she doesn't look where she's going. Oh, stop. I didn't say that. To pass this challenge, drivers have to violently turn the wheel. Quarter turn? Yeah. Three quarter turn? Yeah. If you don't turn sharply... Quarter turn? Yeah. Three quarter turn? Yeah. You'll never do the maneuver. Call to ten, three call to ten, call to ten, three call to ten, one call to ten, three call to ten. I want Emily to practice until her muscles have the memory. Then, go! Emily gets up to speed, but she hits the brake before turning the wheel. And that's the brake. We talked about that. <laughs> With a little more steering practice. Call to ten, three call to ten. And a little more steering practice. One call to ten, three call to ten. Emily is ready to go. Go. Now. Excellent drive. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh my God. Emily shocks the world. By passing on her third attempt. Thank you. Support me. Always. Yeah. Because you told me I can do it, and I can do it, and I done it. Yeah. When we return, it's our annual parking lot challenge. Oh my god, they're both going for it. She's coming too. We got her. We got her. Nice cars deserve nice parking jobs. Unfortunately, that's probably not going to happen here today in our prison parking lot because the next challenge for Canada's worst drivers is to become parking valets for our fine fleet of almost luxury automobiles. I, of course, am talking about our BMW, our Chrysler 300, the Porsche, the toothpaste blue gremlin and our big ugly pickup truck. So, if you're visiting a loved one in the prison today, may I recommend parking across the street, unless you want your vehicle scraped. There's a twist in this year's parking lot challenge. No parking unless you reverse into the space. Yeah! While people settle into their vehicles, they start getting frightened. How the hell am I going to turn? I'm scared. We're going forward. We're going forward. No one's going forward unless someone compromises. Remember, parking is a destination, not a race. Go! Go, 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 go. Now turn. turn. I can't turn yet. TJ, I am touching his car. The drivers are all jockeying for position kind of pointlessly. 
What they don't know is there's no parking spots available yet. Go, babe. Go hey. that way. God, don't yell at me and tell me what to do. <laughs> well, well, you're going to wait for everyone else? Oh, here. Here. Okay. Look at Mr. Aggressive here. Uh, Ashley's aggressiveness has her stuck. Go. When everyone drives in, Ashley's still stuck. Go straight. Straight more. Straight more. I can't go straight, straight more. Straight more. Honey, look how close I am to the Turn your wheel right. This. Oh, go, go. I yeah. can't. Look how close my freaking box is. The rules of this parking lot challenge are simple. Drivers must stop between two white lines. Or is that a spot? No, because there's no two white lines. And the normal rules of driving must be obeyed. That means following traffic signs, prison signs, and seatbelt laws. She's got her seatbelt on under her arm again. What to do anymore? Okay. Incorrect seatbelt use is a driving violation in this province. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, right. Oh, this is freaking red. Well, Seriously. They tell you the same thing every event. Don't talk to me anymore, TJ. <laughs> okay, you got to go to that thing and turn around. Are you paying attention? Okay, turn around. I'm going to. Okay. It is, you know, they said that whoever finishes, you want to be the first one parked, right? Yeah, I get that. Tegan thinks he's going to be the first person parked. Looking good. But Brian wants Ashley to steal the spot. Yeah, quick, 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 quick. Quick, before Tegan backs in there. Oh, I don't know if Tegan is illiterate, but he's parking right in a spot that says reserved for the warden. I guess in his rearview mirror, it looks like... All right, my friend. So, let's talk about why that was a colossally bad idea. Why? The writing is on the wall. I didn't even see that. While Tegan tries to go out and think about what he's done, the other bad drivers rush to the warden's space. How do I get out of here now? For some reason, Ashley starts drifting backwards. Ashley! So here we go again. She's backing up without using the mirrors. Eventually, she stops by hitting a barrier. Oh, my God! I told you, there's a block right behind you. Ashley has to think about what she's done. Time to go. You're blocking things up here, Ashley. This sucks so bad. Now Amy is parking in the warden's spot. Okay. The warden sign is marked well enough that for one? Scott to see it. Are you the warden? That one. Are you the warden? Hey. Eh? But Lindsay doesn't see it. And neither does Ashley. Straighten out. I'm so disappointed in myself right now. I'm like about to as Ashley heads out, a space opens up. See, now he laughs, so that means there, there is a spot. By the time Ashley's back, Amy still hasn't claimed the space. Oh, she's coming too, she's coming too. We got her, we got her. Hard left, hard left. Watch my front end. Oh my god, they're both going for it. Oh my god, they're both doing it. We're in. Amy perks almost perfectly. Congrats. Thanks. We got our first parker. Tegan is trying to park in front of this no stopping sign. This is not that complicated. See if you can understand the coded message in the sign. The sign doesn't matter. Even with Matt directing him in, Tegan hits the parked car. That's a violation. And missing the sign is a ticketable offense. Would it be smart to look at signs? Oh, yeah. And what does that sign there say? That's two failures simultaneously. While Tegan goes off to ponder, I open up this space. Now it's a parking spot. Meanwhile, Ashley's backing up towards a spot that Lindsay's facing. Is she signaling? No, she's not signaling. It's hard, right? Yes. You have to go in between lines, too. Whatever, they can have it. Like, I'm not gonna be a kid. No signs. In between the white lines. There's nothing around here. I'm done. Success. Ah! I'm so happy now. Ashley Parks with two violations. Congrats. Thank you. You might have had the hardest car, too. That's okay, because I drive a truck like this at home anyways, so. Perfect. Yeah.
Lindsay locates another open space. Oh, thank Frick. Don't hit the wall. Lindsay's time in rehab is yielding results. In your driving history, you never reversed into I a parking never space? never back into a parking space, no. And when you yeah. go home? I, I will, yeah. I definitely will. That means the only people left are Emily... Uh-oh. ...and Tegan. First, Emily hits trying to parallel park. Then, Tegan hits trying to parallel park. Then Emily fits. It's a feat that's unparalleled in her parking past. Whatever. That means Tegan is left to circle the lot all by his lonesome. Does this really play that sad music? Because I'm the last person left. After the break, our beautiful Jaguar gets horribly disfigured. Yeah, that one was really bad. This next challenge might make a few of our students a little bit cross. Canada's worst drivers will take our pristine Jaguar XJ6 for a spin around the old concrete blocks. Their goal is to back this vintage automobile into each one of our four parking spaces without damaging the Jag's original paint job. Almost there. And done. Emily's up first. Don't scratch the Jaguar. Okay, I try my best. Emily finds where her corners are. What am I now? I can do. And then she locates her side. You're so close in here. Oh, God. I should have moved here. She hasn't moved anywhere. After 16 minutes, Emily's still in the first slot. Oh. This challenge is really just one problem repeated four times. Goal number one. Now, do it again. Without Scott's support, do it terrific. Emily would still be in the first gate. Making it back into there. Last one. Oh, God. Emily's run devalues the Jaguar. Any scratches on this machine? Yeah. Three times. Lindsay's up next. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Lindsay came to rehab to gain trust from her fiance. Has it worked? Not really. Are you your mirror? You can't see that. I am actually looking in my mirror, TJ. No. Don't say that to me again. I... <laughs> okay, you know what? Do it all on your own. Then. You got it all figured out. After nine minutes of going back and forth, okay, think this through. Lindsay hasn't been able to make her first quarter turn. I'm seriously in a really bad mood. What's the problem? The problem might be TJ. Oh, not quite. <laughs> I'd like to see how she would do without a passenger. Like you're, are you just not even going to try? <laughs> you're like giving up. Why are you so mad? What the, what's the problem? Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad, babe? Don't worry about it. It's frustrating. You're not driving. Lindsay's run devalued the Jag. <gasps> oh, did I do that? Oh. Amy has been married for one year. Ooh. Is it someone's anniversary today? It yes. is. Is it? When you met her, Bob, did you know she was a bad driver? I didn't drive. Didn't drive. He told me. Is that why you're so bad? I tried. Yes. I tried to teach her. Bob didn't do a great job. But here at the rehab center, Amy has learned enough skills to get around our cross in just 19 minutes without crying. Amy's husband would celebrate. If only she'd used the mirrors. Just look in the mirrors, look in the mirrors, instead of listening to that for bump. Oh, that were good. Seriously. One year of marriage, hey? Whatever. It's the way it is. Welcome to life. Cake? Happy anniversary, you two. Thank you. May your roads be clear. Mm-hmm. Nobody in the way. Yep, for sure. 
Ashley needs more suitable driving attire. Once her high heels get stripped away, Ashley peels off a revealing layer. Keep going, don't stop. No, I am. Of vintage paint. Whoa, please. Whoa. It's an ugly start. Like, why are you not helping? That Brian wants no part of. Are you gonna help, or are you just gonna sit there and be quiet all day? I want you to help me, Brian. That's what you're exactly. here for. If yes. I wanted a mute, I'd bring nobody. I don't know how to explain it to make you understand, Ashley. Just say it how you normally say it. I'll interpret it. That's better than no help whatsoever. Turn your wheels and then straight it out so you're pointing straight. Do you want me by that wall? Is that what yes, you want me to do? Okay, then just tell me because you know what? I'm not that much of an idiot. He wants her by the wall, not on it. I'm doing a lot of this on my own too, Brian, because I'm, I'm learning lots. I wish Ashley would learn. Scraping is not good. I think I did good. Like I just touched the bumper and touched the tires. But that one was, yeah, that one was really bad. Tegan's the last driver. This one's tricky. Tegan gets half the run done clean. But then he scrapes the door. And then he really scrapes the side. The odds of Tegan ever becoming a professional driver are, uh, let's see here, uh, Snowball's chance in hell divided by common sense, then you carry the two minus the face of innocence equals zero percent chance of Tegan ever becoming a professional. Yeah, I think I'm on a bump run. Tegan's run certainly left its mark. Body damage there. Right there, too. It happened, so I came on the show to get better, and I think I'm getting, well, I know I'm getting better. After the break, our reverse figure eight makes Emily suicidal. Oh, kill me. The nominees for Canada's worst driver are starting to feel, well, sort of like family to each other. So with that in mind, their next challenge is to reverse around our huge figure eight course with their entire family riding in the car with them. Who wants to go first? I will. While Ashley gets ready, the men who nominated Canada's worst drivers are all settling in to watch. I think every time they hit something, a piece of clothing is going to come off. Go! Ashley starts by being overly cautious. Okay, oh, this is going to be tough. i got to go forward a bit. Guys, we can do this if we just had each yeah. other. <laughs> the challenge is three laps. Ashley's first takes over two minutes. But... You didn't hit anything yet. Yeah, you're doing good. Look at how well Ashley is doing. Maybe Ashley's doing well because Brian's on the sideline. I knew Ashley wouldn't hit nothing, but it would be slow. She does, this that's how she funny. does her all her reverse challenges, really slow. Funny. I like you guys better than my nominator. <laughs> <laughs> because we can understand. After hours of rehab lessons, Ashley now understands the best reversing technique is looking straight out the back window. Last lap. Without Brian in the car, Ashley doesn't freak out or hit anything. Big finish and time! Four minutes and 57 seconds. Oh, that's oh, horrible. Actually, that's not bad. It's Emily's turn. Go! In the first two and a half minutes, Emily hits five things. Holy smokes, I don't get why they can't reverse. I mean, I can actually walk backwards faster than these people can drive. I'm not talking about running. I'm talking about walking. Watch. Mm -hmm. 
See what I mean? Most people, if they were in a hurry to go somewhere, would hop in the car. It would be faster for Emily to walk. This is a double wide course. There's plenty of space to maneuver that vehicle through. Oh, oh my God! While Emily drives, Tegan's job is to count the things she hits. 14, 15, 16. Whatever, you, you count it too much, right? 22. 22? Where, where I hit it, where I hit it. Emily's bad vision. I couldn't see it. Is a life and death problem. Oh my God, kill me. The good news is, Emily's getting glasses tomorrow. Oh my God. Emily, because she's so eager to say, oh, you're the worst, you're the worst, you're the worst, I think she's eating crow right now. She's eating crow. Tegan takes off fast. <laughs> this is the first time in Tegan's life that he's ever driven four women. Oh my God. Tegan, 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 Tegan! He still needs to learn how to stop surging the gas pedal constantly. Too much speed. Every time he goes too fast, he can't keep up with his steering. We're adding 20 seconds to the driver's time for every object they hit. And that's 20 seconds, 40, 60. He's dragging something underneath, you see. There it stops. Now he's going to hit it again. Hear that sound? That's the sound of 20 seconds being added. 40, 60, dragging, costs 20 seconds every second. He's taking a tire with him right now. Tegan, if you're, if you're dragging something with you, don't do that. All right. He tore the bumper off. He's dragging things with him. This kid just can't drive. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think you're dragging your tire. And he's dragging it again. I'm confused. Maybe Tegan is a talented artist. No, 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 no! If Tegan is an artist, he's definitely abstract. It was like on the straightaway, you just kind of do this. Do you do that at home on a straightaway? Yeah, I don't know. It's... Drive is not that smooth. Sometimes it's so fast, I'm the yeah, past stop. Amy's up next. Amy drives around like a normal person, carefully, sensibly. Why the hell are you on the show? Amy's on the show to build confidence. Her focus gets better every day. You got this in the bag. Amy hasn't cried in days. Oh, I'm gonna oh. hit. And she's learned to brake before hitting things. Oh. Well, she still hit some things. You did good, Amy. Good work. Not bad. She's stopping now before she smokes stuff, so that's an improvement. Lindsay's the last driver, and she starts better than anyone. Finally, someone that's actually driving at driving speed. I am determined to get out of here. Lindsay's doing fantastic here. She's moving along slowly but smoothly. That's lap number two, and so far, that's the best lap speed. And that's got Ashley worried about her competition. Lindsay finishes without hitting anything. I feel like I'm personally doing good enough that I feel comfortable driving on the roads again, but I don't know who they're sending home. After the break, the drivers head for the courtroom so they can reflect on their time in rehab. I know it's tough, but because it's good, it's good. You don't even know how good it is not to be that nervous before you get into that car. Canada's worst drivers <laughs> suffered a lot of failures as they navigated their way through... Do you want me by that wall? Is that what yes, you want me to do? Okay, then just tell me, because you know what? I'm not that much of an idiot. Our all-reversing episode. Hey, that was pretty cool, though. Now it's time for them to walk into the courtroom to explain to us why they think they should be allowed to leave the rehab center as our newest graduate. I did okay. I, I scratched the car, though. You scratched the jag? 
and I scratched it. How can you say I was okay? I scratched the jag. Uh, I don't get that. Okay, I did a bad thing. Wars for me is not good. I know that. The reverse figure eight, I did the best. I got the best time <laughs> of everybody. I've learned a lot. Biggest thing is the mirrors. Like, I, I know I've been saying it, but that's the hugest thing. What are the best things you've learned here? Parallel parking, the icing, not beating yourself up before, the mirror thing. That's kind of cool, too. <laughs> so it's good. Why are you crying right now? <laughs> I know it's dumb, but because it's good. It's good. You don't even know how good it is not to be that nervous before you get into that car. It's not as scary as I've always thought it was. Sorry for crying. Just, it's a good feeling to know that you can do it. Are you Canada's worst driver? I'd like to say no. <laughs> no, I really don't think I am. I don't think I'm Canada's worst driver, no. Today in the challenge, I'm thinking, God, I still know what's what. No, I'm not Canada's worst driver. We have two episodes left, which means that it's really crunch time. Whoever we graduate tonight obviously gets to go home, and then there's only one more show before the finals. So, who's good enough to get their driver's license back? Lindsay showed confidence, and she showed competence in her reversing. Uh, the only other person that was close was Ashley. Lindsay and Ashley both hit nothing on the figure eight course. They both succeeded in the reverse flick challenge. But in the parking lot, Ashley finished before Lindsay. I'm done. Success. Ah, you know. Ashley's skill level is better, there's no doubt. But put her in with Brian, and I fear for the child, I fear for them, I fear for me. I do agree that Ashley is technically a better driver, but with Brian, She's still a mess. I would agree with you guys that Ashley's probably the best driver that we still have. Uh, but I would maybe feel maybe safer with Amy on the road. Mm. Mm. Amy, you might want to cry right now. Why? Because this episode's graduate is... Me? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> this episode's real graduate is... Lindsay. Oh, yes. yes! Thank you! Yes. Thanks! Oh, thank You're you! Welcome. Thank you. Cool. Excellent student. You learned a lot. Thank you. When we met Lindsay, she averaged a collision a month, and that caused her all sorts of problems. Yes, my driving has affected our relationship a little bit. When we have kids, they're definitely not driving with Lindsay. At the rehab center, we learned that Lindsay couldn't reverse, she didn't know where to look, and she wouldn't hold the wheel. Oh, damn it. Oh. Before I arrived here, my crash count was probably, I honestly don't know, I can't keep track, but it was at least 40 things and objects and cars and random things that I've hit. We got Lindsay to change her driving shoes and her driving attitude. Now, this Kelowna saleswoman is an excellent reverser who has a real grasp on safe driving. Any hits? None. We have a winner. Yeah. And it's Lindsay. Thank you. Probably the most important thing I learned here at the Rehabilitation Center was how important it is to pay attention. I feel a lot better about Lindsay driving our future children around. Uh, two weeks ago, no chance, but uh, the way she's done here, she seems like she's improved a ton. The Driver Rehabilitation Center, bringing families together since 2005. After our next episode, we'll be in the finals, and then I will be naming Canada's worst driver. Oh, my God. On the next episode of Canada's Worst Driver, the four remaining nominees face their toughest challenges yet. They'll run the eye of the needle. They'll tow a trailer. Give gas. And they'll try their hardest to stay out of our final episode by keeping their emotions in check. Shut up! I'm gonna do this by myself! Do you shut up and just do it then? Ow! Get the f out! Whatever!
good. 